I think I'm there now. Okay, what up, everybody? So, my name is Dr. Fat Body, uh, CCT Dr. Fat Body, cross counter training's very own. Um, I play fighting games uh, competitively as well as speedrun games. And so, I figured why not bring my two loves together? This is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, aka the best arcade fighting game ever made. Um, we're gonna start time. Uh, are you ready on time? So, okay, in three, two, one, go. Alright, so we are going to be exploiting a glitch where the opponent cannot block uh, two times in a row. We got Dalsum, which sucks, though, because of how he resets. So we're just going to do this instead. A little trolled by the first character, but it's okay. And now we're just going to, you know, eat that bitch's face. And then next. Uh, if we get lucky, they'll be stupid and call an assist character right when they die. Shout out to Dawson wasting time. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically the whole run. Um, we just exploit the computer being stupid despite it being on the hardest difficulty. You would think it'd make it a little bit harder. Um, shout out to IFC Yipes, uh, Justin Wong, Sanford Kelly, um, Smooth Viper, Shady K, Duck Doe, all the people who've been playing this game for years competitively. Currently, me and the homies have a discussion and think that this game can go much lower than my world record of 8-11, which I, you know, had just previously beaten the world record that was untied for about, I think, like, over two years. I'm not exactly sure on how long it was. Word. That's another perfect... Um, in my current world record, all levels before uh, Abyss, who is the final boss, is uh, perfect, thankfully. And then, yeah, um, you hear the buttons that are pretty loud. That's my arcade stick. I'm currently playing on a Hori HRAP. Um, if any representative from Hori is watching, please sponsor your boy. <sighs> going to be at Frosty Faustings 2018 if any of you guys are going to be there. Okay, same shit. Over and over. Rinse, repeat. And see, I didn't switch up the inputs there on which way he had to block, so... This stage is going a little bit longer than what I wanted, but it's okay. Storm died relatively quick, so it makes up for it. But yeah, um, fun Marvel 2 facts. They knew about a lot of the infinites and the air hyper viper beam infinite with cable, uh, for example, but they kept that shit in to let it rock. Oh, thankfully we got Akuma next, who has very low health. Same with Wolverine. So this will help us a bit. You know, just to flex on him. I actually fucked my input up. Still a pretty decent pace, though. We're just passing like a little over four minutes, so I think this is stage four or five. I think we just passed four. 
Ruff Marrow and War Machine can both be jerks. That was good. And yeah, the reason why is because when we reset them like this, they lose just the, they just lose the ability to block for some reason. I don't quite understand it. But it's a pretty funny exploitable. Where that was a good stage. I mean Mag got hit. It took like I lost about a second and a half to Marrow. That's expected when we get her. Characters like her, Silver Samurai, uh, Kobun can always, you know, Kobun serve bot. Shout outs to him. And yeah, another one, you know what I'm saying? Charlie Charlie Nash resurrected from the dead, about to get his ass busted. Actually play some Marvel 2 and reset them for a second. That was fun. But yeah, this is why we put them in that stun lock, is because characters get a little more free on their shit after that. Justed him back into the corner, that was nice. That was shitty. Good adjustment though, bringing in Storm. six ooh and we got we got characters that have some of the worst health in the game so that's a huge plus and roll can be reset normally so see see how fast she just died y'all same with Dan that's good we got a little bit of damage on Felicia This bitch can waste a little bit of time. Thankfully, I stun locked her though. Good. Yes, and this is Abyss. Okay, so for those who are listening that are on the timer, um, third hit or last hit on the final stage. There's three stages, this being the first will be when time is. Lost a little bit of time there. Lose a little bit of time right here. A little more time. Okay. Thankfully we got a good spot against this guy though. And I have three bars so I'll be able to kill him fairly quickly. God damn it. Alright, and so like I said, time will be on this uh, last hit. Trolley. And time. Aw, oh, I want a few seconds over estimate, but that's alright. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, they, it was timed weird. Okay. 
I see it. But real quick, just let that beautiful music play in your ears. Um, yet again, y'all, I have been Dr. Fatbody. Um, so real quick, let me do a proper outro for y'all since I haven't done one yet over this beautiful music. Um, the speedrunning games for about five years. I started with Sonic 1. Um, I also play Pokemon Blue, um, Tokyo Extreme Racer, Initial D, uh, DDR, Sonic Mania. Um, you know, like a pretty big plethora of games. And so uh, speedrunning means the world to me. And so the fact that y'all can share a little bit of that with me means like a shit ton, y'all. So thank you. Um, please enjoy the next game, Tie the Man Tasmania Tiger 2 by Rob the Gamer. And yeah, man, it's been Dr. Fat Body yet again. Peace.